active living and people are having their food, so I'm not going to make you do too much. Don't worry, just the ones that are not, not really. <laughs> no, but um, it's okay, because uh, I was going to play the, the opposite game um, to introduce the fitness and active living, because I thought, well, the fact that I'm actually introducing the fitness and active living, let's do. Originally, I was going to bring my pads and it's going to do something, but then I had to be mindful about where people are. <laughs> yeah, we could have let out some aggression and just run the cover the room. But um, I'm just going to keep it simple now. Um, so I thought well, she did, started. actually. Well, she did. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I no, don't give them ideas. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you see the one my brain's like ticking over? Okay, no ideas, no ideas. No. So, I was just going to say, let's get moving, but because of the nature of the room, rather than um, running across it and people are eating, so feel free to continue eating, I'm just going to say, get up. So, I'm just going to say um, a word um, that are opposite, and whichever one you say, Basically, the opposite game, I don't know if you've played it. So say, for example, I may have said um, apple and pear, and then you run to the room for apple, and you run to the other room and you're a pear. So it's whichever side. So um, I'm going to... It would be nice if you could move, I suppose, just to keep a little bit of acting. So what I'm just going to say is, um, the first word I um, say, stay where you are, the second word, you run to the back. You don't have to run, you can walk to the back. It's just about getting that movement, and I'll explain why I'm talking about the active living. So I'll just say just a few things. So, um, are we ready to play the game? So, the first word I say, stay where you are. The second word, if you are that more preferred, um, have a preference to the second word, then you move to the back. Don't be lazy and just start choosing the first word so that you can't move. At <laughs> least you've got to be in it to win it. So, um, badminton, tennis. So if you're into badminton, stay where you are. Tennis, go to the back of the room. <laughs> so it's just to, just to keep that movement, okay. So, so we've got the, the badminton and we've got the tennis over there. Cycling. Stay here, jogging at the back. You'd stay in the middle, in the boat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, you have to choose one, you have to choose one. Stay in the middle. Cycling or jogging? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Are you cycling? Yeah. You're cycling. Yeah, yeah, you're cycling. I've seen you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The next one is. Sorry. Roller skating or skateboarding? Don't do it. Which one would you prefer, roller skating or no. skateboarding? I'm in the middle. <laughs> the middle is nothing. Only two both. And the next one is boxing or kung fu. Boxing oh. here, kung fu. At the no, that's not fair. <laughs> no way. No, that's, that's, no, that's not fair. No, no, it is, it no is way. Fair. Okay. Boxing, you know, I'm just boxing. Sorry. No, yeah, kickboxing can go with kung fu because it's easy to the limbs. No, no, no. Right. no way you could choose boxing or kung fu. That has boxing? Been no, no, boxing, you can, you see, thank you. What? Boxing is a superior science. What? No, boxing. Boxing. No, boxing. no, no, no. You're not no, supposed to kick in boxing. Absolutely. It's your kickboxing. No, kung fu. Kung fu over there. So, did you say kickboxing was kung fu? Yeah, you go with kung fu. I said just one. I stand alone. <laughs> <laughs> Kids are lads. No, I'm on that side. No, I'm on both of those. There's no <laughs> way. <laughs> Yoga here or Tai Chi at the back. Tai Chi. Oh, oh, yeah, one or the other, please. Why are so many people there? Yoga or Tai Chi? There's no yoga. choice whatsoever. Yeah, it's very difficult. Yoga, yoga, Tai Chi. Remember you? Yoga. I'm on both. I'm on both. I'm on both. Yoga and Tai Chi. And the last one, the last one. Swimming or rowing? Mm. Swimming. Yeah, swimming. Swimming. Yeah, swimming at the front. That's how we swim. Okay, so we've finished now, but thank you so much. So it's just to, just to get us moving. And really cool the ride. Yeah, yeah, right. Sorry about that with the clump food and the boxing. Oh, sorry. Um, and so basically what I'm going to explain now is the components of fitness. Um, it's just to give you an introduction into the overall um, aspects that make up physical fitness. There are a couple of others such as balance, stamina, but I'm just going to mention these three. So cardiovascular, as everyone heard of cardiovascular, mm -hmm. aerobic, using your heart and your lungs and major muscle groups. So apart from the picture there, does anyone know other cardiovascular exercises? Sex. 
Yeah. Yeah. Sex, that's a good one. Running. Running, running. Walking upstairs. Cycling, cycling. Yeah, most of the ones I mentioned. And does anybody do any of those cardiovascular ones? Yeah. Which ones? Boxing. 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 <laughs> and it's heavy, just picking it up, you just start toning up your arms. So it's, and I, I suggest those ones, if you're going to have a weighted one or a thin one, as opposed to ones that have got weights in their handles, because they're, usually there's a, a lot on the wrist. Mm -hmm. but the thing. Then the next one is muscle endurance and strength. Does everybody know what that means? Weighted thin or weights. Yeah, so it's weight weight. Weight. you can use weights, you can use free weights. So it's repetitions, or you can use your body. My favourite one, because I'm, I'm not really an advocate of using weights unless it's my baby. I'm just going like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a good yeah. one. Um, but I just think people should use um, their own body weights unless you know that's your thing and you want to do weightlifting. But I just think it looks more natural. So you might see all these people doing um, like these press ups. Mm -hmm. They do press ups, and then you ask them to do a handstand against the wall, mm -hmm. and that's when you find out. So there's lots of things that you're just doing that you can do, and maybe as a child. Like skipping, I could skip for, for ages and ages, and then I tried to skip, and then three minutes feels like three hours. So you're like, <laughs> and I thought because I could cycle, I could do it, but it's like using all different aspects of the cardio. So, yes, the muscle endurance that's anything the repetitions, the strength, weightlifting, using big heavy weight, and the stretching. So obviously you don't need to be flexible to a woman who's more or less kissing her own ass. <laughs> but it's, stretching is really important and it's not just something that comes at either the start or the end of your exercise routine. It should really be something that's a part of your life. Because mm. most of these things people think, well if I'm not going to the gym then I don't care about them. But just in your everyday activities, mm. your cardiovascular, running for the bus, I've seen people that you know, are really pain and obviously if your lifestyle, your smoker, mm. is going to have an effect. Mm. Um, the muscle endurance and strength, again, it could be things like maybe using your legs to get up out of a chair as opposed to having to use the thing or carrying your shopping, so it's affecting your everyday life. Mm -hmm. And stretching when you have to reach up to, you know, for an object. So some of these things are, you, you should really be working just to get a balance of well around. So I think for me, that's why I do martial arts, because I love the fact that I can do a little bit of cardio with the skipping and then some muscle endurance and strength. Because also with the muscle endurance, um, my friends actually starting a business aimed at women and um, encouraging weightlifting. And we was having a debate over the, at the weekend because of, um, like I said, I'm not an advocate of weights. Uh, her one is to encourage women to use weights and to, what she say, dispel the myths that you're gonna bulk up and look like um, men. Mm. Um, as she said, it's just physically impossible to do that. Um, but I just don't like the weights. I like just to use the own body weights. So I just think it just looks natural. I don't know if you remember that picture at the beginning yeah. with the lady. I just feel like that just, that just, <laughs> that's not appealing. But her argument was also because um, it increases, people don't realize that actually that muscle density and using muscle exercises increases your metabolism. So yes, cardio, you can do cardio, that's a good weight loss, but also with the muscle endurance, even when you're sitting down and you're resting, you're still burning. So that's why it's good to incorporate it into your regime. So it could be just that you do sit-ups, press-ups, um, just a few things. It doesn't have to actually be major weights. And if you want to do weights, then it's up to you. And then stretching, um, like I said, it's really important. And I think the older that you get, the, it sort of changes maybe the order of what you do things in. So maybe when you was younger, the cardiovascular might have been the thing that you was really um, interested in, but then it might be stretching when you might wake up and then it's a crack, crack, crack with the bones. <laughs> you, you know, and it's just and it just just being stretched out and holding your stretches for longer than ten seconds 
will make the difference. If you hold it for less than 10 seconds, it's not really having a, an impact on your muscles. So to lengthen your muscles, the aim is really 30 seconds if you want to do developmental stretches. To say for some people you're aiming for the splits, as I know most of you would try to achieve, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> the splits. Then hold it for um, 30 seconds and uh, more if you can. And has anyone heard the term active living? Active living is a, a new term that's been brought out and basically it's a, a way of life that integrates physical activity into your everyday routine such as walking. So even me just getting you up and moving would be coming under that sort of guise of active living. Uh, <laughs> why are you laughing? Oh, forgive me. It's, that's why it's amazing how the government can really stir it. It's mm. common sense. You have yes. to move. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> you have to move. You have to move. You have to move. Yeah. 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 It's interesting. That's but, <laughs> and that's a really good point. But I think for some people, and the ones that, like I was saying, that I won community groups that some people don't have vegetables, yes. that, that isn't part of their life. Yes. And that actually, you'd be quite surprised that nowadays, we're spending more than 10 to 20 hours just sitting down, so when we're mm, watching sure. TV at the desk at work, I know one of my friends, she was complaining about her weight, and then we went through her day, it was that she got into the car, to the work, mm. to then think, then didn't even go out at lunchtime, and then from lunchtime, then she came back and watched TV, and then I was wondering, well, that, that in the park in the day, you know, like people... Mm. I, think, I, say, um, I think the reason why the government's coming out with this is because a lot of people don't have common sense. It's like your friends you know, just mm. complaining and not looking for a solution. Sure. And also, especially around school, the school run, oh. children living around the yeah. corner and being dropped by a car. Yeah. So a lot of this came through by trying to encourage children just to walk to school yeah, and the parents to even walk to work or just walk to the shops. Yeah, because yeah, so a lot of people just yeah, do not have common sense. Yeah, they really, really don't. And, it's, and I think we've just got lazier, <laughs> just got lazier and lazier. And because we've got so many more modern things that are supposed to be there for our convenience, so yeah. they're like, the, 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 you know, they're just creating just robots. <laughs> yeah, and, I, you know, I'm, I'm sometimes I've been just starting myself, I actually forget to walk. You know, just because I live quite a central, so to go to um, Oxford Street is about 15 minute, 20 minute walk. Yeah. I just forget, I just jump on the bus. And one time, I, I, the children would get them on the nerves. I thought, you know what, I'm going to punish you. We're going to go for a walk. <laughs> 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 I know. That's not very really good. That's how back I was thinking. And we actually enjoyed the walk. Yeah, yeah. It was a two mile walk to Kilburn. We actually enjoyed it, and we was speaking, was talking about everything. We had a really good conversation while we were walking. And I think a lot of families actually forget. Yeah, just to we do just the forget. Basic things. Yeah. 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 So everything is going, everyone's in the, the car and everything like that. Even so, someone was saying, you know, before washing machines, we were washing it. Yeah, and that just... Yeah, yeah. I just want to reiterate the point that he's made about people forgetting. One of the things I do with my little girl, she's three now, mm. but one of the things I do with her is, because everyone's so busy and congested, and you know how people are just so not mindful, so if I'm walking and I'm holding her hand, people just walk past and, you know, she's, yeah. so what I do sometimes is let her walk. If it's really crowded, I put her on my back. Yeah. I put her on my back and she finds that really fun, like, <laughs> I'm shopping and do what I'm doing, and obviously when it's not so crowded, I let her walk. So I think, in terms of, you know, him saying that people forget, I think one of the other things I've kind of made a pact to myself is, I wanted to travel, like go to the Caribbean every year so that she gets a good sense of where she's from. Yeah. And in the Caribbean, this business of, you know, the school run, car, car, there is none of that. <laughs> you have to go to places. So I'm saying people have either got complacent being here yeah. in this country, yeah. in this way of living, and mm. forgotten how we actually live, yeah. fetching water, doing the things that just come natural and you have to do, you've got no other alternative. Yeah. But it's just, you know, like I say, being here in this place, yeah. you kind of sometimes pushes some people into a way of living that isn't our natural way of living. And I'm not going to say the other thing that people don't take the opportunity, take the opportunity to use what's here because they have things like walking buses yeah. for the children to go to school. How many children do you see actually using that service mm -hmm. or their parents having them use it? You know, it's just a matter of getting your child out the door yeah. at a certain yeah. time and they walk to school with other children yeah. and, and helpers. Mm -hmm. You don't read the, they've already put them on the bus or put yeah. them on the bus or yeah. put them on the car. Oh, the the car. car. The car. Yes. And I think most of our, the, some of the, especially for the African Caribbean community, some of the illnesses that we're getting are these new it's ones. Crazy. And I think it's also part of, because they, they, the NHS are calling it a silent killer, mm. just sitting down, mm. sitting mm. down and all the hours. Mm. They said that at the age of 65 plus, 
is the most um, <coughs> the, the, the sedentary lifestyle um, life group because they spend more than 15 hours sitting, sitting down. down. Mm -hmm. You know, it's sort of thing. And like I said, when you're in a different climate, you do tend to maybe go out. Mm -hmm. You're in the fresh air, mm -hmm. and it also means that the food that you're eat, eating, mm -hmm. you can sweat it out, yeah. you can burn it off. Whereas you know, like there isn't just that same type of climate there. So it is the I think this term for me is quite important to people who sometimes have barriers to mm. doing exercise mm. because I've heard lots of reasons why people don't want to do, and I'm sure you know some of it, but people will use like time, um, but then you can sort of find the time mm. in the morning or make time. Well, time for EastEnders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but time for other things, and it is making it a priority or, you know, like money, but then now they've got the free gyms in the park and all things like that, you know, yeah. just... Yeah. I've got some people who really use them though. And that's not in every area. I mean, yeah. where I live, kind of sort of pull them. But I make a point to go to the Lambic Road where there is one. And I have a personal trainer there for an hour. Wow. Because there's no. Yeah. And it's like. Yeah. You don't think you're really yeah. using them. Yeah. It's extraordinary. Yeah. They have. Um, you say cost. I go to an African dance class. It costs me £2 or £150. Yeah. There's so many low cost things. Yeah. Low cost things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I don't see enough. And that's why then you have to start looking at other factors. Then when you, because when you do start telling people, well, there's this free thing, or there's this low cost, then you start looking at the other things like, well, motivation. Mm. And it is like you said, like the mindset. Mm. You're just, you're not motivated, so then you'll get people saying, oh, I want to be fitter, I want this, and then it's the steps. And I understand. I think because we work with a lot of um, women and mums, their one is usually, you know, the children. The children, the children, the children, they're taking that time. You can and that's exactly you can with your children. Anything I'm doing, my little girl is right there in my face. Mm -hmm. She wants to get involved. So even, you know, it's really funny, even when you mention the stretching in the morning, you know, you get up and you stretch, like, Mum, what are you doing? I'm stretching. Every morning she gets up and she stretches. Yeah. And yeah. sometimes she's standing there, literally, like, this. I'm like, what are you doing? I'm stretching. Okay. <laughs> Seriously, and I'm saying you can incorporate things with your children. Yeah. It's good for them to start exercising from early. Not overly, but from yeah, early. Just, yeah. And yeah. that's a healthy thing. So you can, the whole family can get involved. Yeah. So you can't, I don't think parents should or could use their children as an excuse because it's a mindset. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a mindset. When you're, yeah. when you're in that state of mind, yeah, it's when it's just such a big obstacle, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. You, need, you need someone to sometimes show you the light. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, I, I lived in, you know, grew up in a, well, not grew up, from the age of 11, we moved to a, a, a block of flats. We were on the fifth floor, and I took the lift. Yeah. Up and down those stairs, if it was two or three times a day, it's up and down the stairs. I remember my um, goddaughter, when she was little, when she was able to walk, she'd be up and down the stairs too, but we'd be counting. So it'd be yeah, exercise and learning. Yeah, 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 up and down, yeah. and that's what kept me fit. Yeah. And when you move from that now, because obviously I was up and down those stairs, if you don't do other things, then you are going to put on your weight, yeah. because yeah. your body's used to doing yeah. all that exercise. Or even housework. Yeah, you know, housework or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Doing so, those things is exercise. Yeah. So how can these people say that they, they don't they can't yeah, concentrate they've got time, time in their yeah. life? Yeah. So that means they're not even doing that. Even when you're standing there, you're, you want to watch your East Enders. You can you're doing your eyes. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, you can mm. do it. Yeah, exactly. So they obviously don't eye well, do you? Yeah. <laughs> no, you know what? You can be doing there's lots of people that do actually have active lifestyles. And if you think about it, mm. no matter how lazy you are, most of us at least have to whether you're going to work or you've got children or what have you. Mm. But it's 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 there's the exercise is one thing, but it's also what you're putting into your body. Yeah, so right. if you're if you're active but you're eating lots of junk and taking lots yeah. of calories, it's not gonna. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Yeah, because people don't realise how much they may need to even burn up just a simple mass bar or a, a chocolate. Um, I'm fine with you. I think okay. Sorry, my bedroom system is coming back. <laughs> <laughs> but even with, like, with my son, I used to, because I, I the, like, childcare is always an issue, and this is what I tell the other groups. Most of the classes, you see me my, my, bringing my baby, yeah. as you can see, my baby's here, and even like where I do Thai boxing on the Sunday, I'm the only person, but I've got my baby right there yeah. in the thing. And you know that type of thing? I just like, yeah. and in the park, I used to, I might have looked like a crazy mum. But I'd be there skipping, but it was on the, the swing. But it was just my way of still yeah. keeping active yes. and then just introducing just the fun. So yeah. I would just yeah. with you that you can incorporate. Mm. Yeah. I think it would be a good idea if somebody could um, um, formulate a program of using housework as a form of exercise. Because, I mean, like I said, when you're actually doing it, if you're mopping and whatever, mm -hmm. you are exercising your limbs and your body. And so, it, what you're saying that what actually it, like. It, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, absolutely. Or uh, housework <laughs> yoga or something. I think that would be a really good idea or something like that. He has it in person. <laughs> <laughs> but I think with the housework, for me, I like to put music on. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
clean the, the thing. When, I, when, I'm, when I'm on it, I like to listen to um, LBC or, or a, ch a chat show. So when I get vexed, I'm like, yeah, it's like, aren't you fast? Like, yeah, I'm going to chat. And I burn up everything. It's cooking as well. They're cooking. Yeah, every, again, with my little girl in the kitchen, yeah, if I'm cooking, you know, she's got the vegetables, doing whatever she's doing with it, but then we put on the music. And if I find that she's probably focused on something for long enough, I'll be like, I can't let's dance. So I'll be washing the dishes, we'll be doing a little dance routine, and she'll be doing it. Yes, every day. Every day. So yeah, so just so we all understand it, and I think I think it is a good thing that they've introduced it because people do have barriers to go to the gym. Like I can't stand the gym, and I'm not gonna lie, yeah. I just really hate it. So um, I I won't do it. But just being active in my life mm. is just yeah. help helpful for me. So, um, so that we probably gone through it, but then um, I'm just gonna split you into just just little groups to try and come up with eight things that you can do to encourage active living. Um, I think you've all got pens, but just just to list, just on a list, just a scrap piece of paper in this, this group up here, mm -hmm. just eight things that you can do to um, encourage. Do you have a pen? Eight things. Eight things. Eight things. To, yeah, eight things. Just trying to think of eight things. It's five minutes. Yeah, eight things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, number one, get rid of the dumb box. The, the, the dumb box. The, the dumb box. Oh, the TV. Oh, okay. Nothing. 